It's been a year since we last saw Julian before he... I'm sorry, I must have blocked that anniversary. As you know, uh, things did not end well with Julian and me. Having said that, I know he's your brother. I know you miss him, and I'm sorry you're in pain. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I would like to try to make at least one person smile instead of cry before this dreadful holiday is over. Are you kidding me? Who could that be? Satan? Hello, Natasha. You're... Late for dinner? Yes, I suppose I am. Oh, come on, Natasha. Is that any way to greet a member of your family? Uncle Victor. You're alive. Spencer? <laughs> oh, look at you. All grown up. Well, quite, quite, a, quite a tip off the old block, eh? I'm so sorry I should have warned you all. You knew he was alive and you didn't say anything? How long did you know? Let me get this straight. You knew that he was alive and you didn't think to tell me about it? In fairness, neither you nor Spence were speaking to me and I expected Victor to remain in prison. My father warned me away from Uncle Victor, but as we know, his word is good for nothing. I always thought you were a good man. Well, thank you, Spencer. That means a lot to me. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm here. Well, I first went out to Windermere, but it was empty, so I came here looking for the family I have left. Alexis, where are your daughters? I was hoping this would be a proper family reunion. They had other plans, fortunately. Ah, well, all is not lost, eh, Valentine? I have to say, I had no idea that you and Natasha become so close as to share a holiday together. Funny, I didn't know that you and Valentine were close. We're not. He's just my father. 